that a matter in terms of you know, some of his off-field comments. Do you see yourself at all in that light? No, I've never thought about that comparison, and I don't even think that comparison's fair. Um, he, he's had an unbelievable career and, and won so many championships and done so many great things as a player and a coach, so I, I, I'd be honored to be compared to him, but I don't even think that's accurate. Coach, what would you consider a successful first season? I think if we play really well. Um, I, it's not about wins or losses because I can't control that right now. There's too many variables. There'll be too many variables with injuries. There'll be too many variables about timing of who you play, when you play them. You know, there'll be too many times that the ball hits up right or the ref makes this call. And so it's more important that we play extremely well and show that, that we're a very fundamentally sound team that plays extremely physical. Just talking about your recent meeting with Commissioner Slive and what was the motivation behind well, I, I had only spent two minutes with him um, at a basketball game one time. And so uh, I really had not had a chance to sit down and talk to him. And this was the slowest time of year. And so I tried to do it a couple weeks before, and he was on vacation. And so uh, Monday it worked out that I could get down there. And so I was down there. And so I stopped by during lunchtime and spent about 30, 40 minutes with him. And it wasn't, um, it wasn't him calling a meeting you know, or a reprimand meeting by any means. It was to get to know each other. And, I wanted to explain to him the direction of our program, why we were doing what we were doing, and making sure that he didn't have this view of us as a renegade program or as that we were setting out to, to um, do things on purpose or bring down the conference or any of the things that, that possibly he could read about and believe. Coach, your emphasis on recruiting is evident in the staff you put together. Being at USC, do you believe the better players win more so than scheme? Oh, that's a great question. I think you, I don't know that you can ever answer that. Um, you know, you know, there's a lot of you see guys all the time with lesser players out scheme guys, you know, and win games in, in the schools that the big underdogs and they just out coach them on that day. But then you see some other teams you, and you're not really impressed with their scheme, but it doesn't matter because they hand the ball to the tailback, they don't block the wheel linebacker in the hole, and the guy makes a miss and goes for a 50 yard touchdown. And everybody thinks the offensive coordinator is great, and so um, it, that's a hard one to answer. Um, but I think probably if I had to decide, it's the players. Probably when you have the better players, it's more important than the scheme. Because just as I said, you draw it all up, and your guy's sitting there, and he can't make the play because he's not good enough, and their guy goes. And so um, probably players, you know, and it's why our emphasis is we put so much emphasis on recruiting. Talk about some of the young guys you have coming in, Duke East, Sam, Bryce, and some of the others. How much of an impact do you think they can make? Well, I hope they have a lot, and especially the guys on offense, which is who we talk about the most. There are some great players coming in on defense, you know, two great safeties um, that are coming in, including Jansen Jackson from Louisiana, who I think, I think over seven years, there's only been two five-star players leave the state of Louisiana and not go to LSU. One was Joe McKnight, came to us at SC, and Jansen's the next. So um, we expect him to be a great player. But probably the offensive guys have the most impact because there's, the there's the most need for them. And so um, Bryce is the most talked about guy, and we'll put him in there, and we'll look at a lot of different things with him and see what he can do really special to help us right away. And, and hopefully New Keys can help us as well outside. You've been in big-time atmospheres here. Can you, can you be prepared for your big-time atmosphere in terms of it's a totally different stadium in terms of maybe than what you have experienced everywhere else? Well, I, I, it's, I don't know how much different it is. I haven't been in there yet, you know, when it's been totally full. You know, the Coliseum, the LA Coliseum, there's 90,000 or something. And, you know, we played in, played in three, uh, three Rose Bowls and two Orange Bowls, you know, five straight years out there. So we've been to pretty big venues. Um, but I don't think that it's the size of Neyland Stadium that makes it so special. I think it's the passion of the people. And I think it's when you go to the ball walk and there's 50,000 people there two, hour, two and a half hours before the game. You know, it's the passion of the people that make that stadium special. I don't really think it's the size of the stadium.